Hey guys, Lagamus Prime here again. And today on November 8th, I actually got first place at my locals with Jumbo Chess. And I know for a while you guys have been asking for an update video on Jumbo Chess, especially an updated version of the deck. But I'll tell you what, it actually doesn't need too many adjustments to it to make it pretty viable. Um, pretty much the only things that I've really done is adjust some of the numbers and added a card or two here or there in a couple of different level sixes. So here we go. I want to go ahead and show you what I won with at the locals this week. So right now, pretty much not too much is going to change from the beginning, from the pawn chess mons pretty much up to the level fives. Pretty much all of that have pretty much gone unchanged. Uh, but so far, this is what I got right here. We have four of the Pogumon, obviously you need Pogum for this deck. A lot of times you're just gonna be swinging and trying to get as many cards as you can into your hand and just doing checks and playing out your pawn chess mons. Pretty much on delete, reveal top card of your deck, add it to your hand if it's a black Digimon. If not, place it at bottom. Now on to our level threes. Now we have our usual level threes here that we know of. So we'll have the four, the four pawn chess, then the other four pawn chess. Now, I'm pretty sure you knew that. But yeah, pawn chess needs, or well, jumbo chess needs pawn chess mons. You, you can't run the deck without them. Uh, pretty much both of them are the same thing. On deletion, you get to play another level three Digimon with chess mon in this name. Uh, it's uh, one is on your turn, the other one is on your opponent's turn. And if there's eight in your trash, Digimon for chess mon in their name, you can go up to a level five. Pretty simple. Uh, you need all eight of these in order to even make the deck work or function properly, just so you can get a lot of recursion. That's pretty much the whole point is, you have a guy out, he gets deleted, you play another one. Uh, for the last level three, we'll have three Gatsumon now. I used to run this at four, but I've lowered it down to three because there have been times where I have this too much in my hand and it's just, it's okay, it's definitely good, especially whenever you get the blocker part of it and you just get cards into your hand. Pretty much it's a blocker on delete if it's your opponent's turn, you reveal the three and you add a black card from them to your hand, place the rest at the bottom, so it's a good way to get what you need in your hand. Next on to the level fours. So this is where I, I don't know, yeah, this definitely wasn't in the original video, but I added two of these guys, two Sephiroth Mons, I think it used to be three, but now I've reduced it down to two because you see it way too often in your hand. And usually most decks, I think, that run hybrids in it, that just are a couple of them, usually just run two hybrids anyway. So, yeah, uh, this one is you may Digivolve onto a Tamer, but you have to be it for three, for three Digivolution costs. And there is another Digivolve for one on top of a Mercury Mon. So if you ran Mercury Mon in this, you can go two on top of a Tamer and then one on top of that, but I don't, I don't have any room for it, and I don't think it, I, you need it. Pretty much you're looking for the win Digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn. One of your opponent's Digimon gains start of the main phase, this Digimon attacks, which is you're wanting them to, you're wanting them to do. Once you're getting into Jumbo, you're wanting them to swing into your security so you can play your stuff. So this is another way to cheat out them attacking you. And then we have to run all four, or pretty much all eight, of the Knight Chessmons. Like I said, this is a Chessmon deck, so you need as many of these as possible, especially if you're trying to get the um, eight names in trash, which won't happen all too often, but it, it can from time to time. I actually did have that happen one time tonight where I had, as soon as this guy got deleted, I had just enough to get eight and I was able to play a level five which really helps out because as soon as you get that five in there, you can go into your six and just start popping off. Uh, but yeah, these are pretty much the same thing as the pawn chess mons on delete. If this one's on your opponent's turn, this one's on your turn, you can play a chess mon that's level four, or a Digimon that has chess mon in its name from level four lower. It doesn't get the additional thing of pawn chess mon, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter all too much. But you just need names at that point and a black and yellow Digimon. Now onto the level fives. This is where I've changed it up a little bit. Some of the numbers have gone down a tad. So 
I have three rook chess mon. Now I used to run three rook chess, one bishop chess, but I don't like running bishop chess in here because once you get past these stages, getting that level five to swing, sometimes it doesn't matter because this thing's already beefy enough as it is, but I'm looking for the blocker in this one. It's the same thing as the other ones. If it gets deleted on your opponent's turn, you, um, you get to play a level five or lower chess mod in its name, Digimon from your hand for free. And usually most of the time you'll see me just block with this and then play another one. It, it happens a lot, a lot more often than you'd think. But this is not usually the level five that I like to go into because the real star of the deck is definitely four Mame Mons. Now, this is definitely a major star in the deck, but not the biggest one. And from what I understand, when this when the deck profile first came out, this thing was selling like wildfire. Or it was like selling out like wildfire, whatever you want to say. But anyway, so Mami Mon, basic effect. On player when did you log reveal top five of your cards? You can play a tamer where four or less for free. Place the rest at top or bottom. This is the greatest effect in this deck, especially whenever you combine it with your level fives. Because if you can stack the deck in your favor, when you see my level sixes that I run in this, you can play this so many times that you're gonna have quite a few tamers on your field by the end game. Uh, and then your turn once per turn, when an effect plays another Digimon by effect, one of your Digimon gains blocker until the end of your opponent's turn, which can happen a lot. I actually had this proc a good couple of times tonight. Now on to the level sixes. Now this is the main star of the deck, and it is four Jumbo Gamemon. This is the reason why it's called Jumbo Chess, Jumbo, and Chessmon. So I got myself the nice shiny versions, the nice pre-release ones. They're really cool looking. Um, but yeah, so it's a blocker, a big beefy 13K blocker. It's a Digivolution's cost of five, so it is a bit cost heavy, but I think this might actually not be too bad in the future at BT14 with the in-trainings. I think they will definitely help. Uh, but opponent's turn, when an opponent's Digimon attacks, you can play a level five or lower from this Digimon's Digivolution sources without paying the cost. So you can play anything from the source right from underneath and get their effects, either be a blocker with the on deletions or get ready for a next setup of attacks or even play out another Mamemon and search for some more tamers to play because tamers in this deck will definitely help out because you'll be stealing turns and being able to extend your plays quite a lot if you just get enough tamers on the field, which you are going to be running plenty of. But yeah, this was the main star of the deck. But he has, <laughs> I will say he has a new side, a side star. Like in terms of it being really huge, I'd say this one is first, this one is third. But the second star of this deck, which I need to get some AAs of, is a GG Mon. Now, GG Mon is, I, I knew about GG Mon before in the deck. Uh, I never ran it. I should have because <laughs> because of how fast you can actually turbo out your tamers and play Digimon with this guy, as long as he survives, which with reboots, if you just swing with him, reboot and he lives, or you have some of the blockers on the field, so if they try to attack into it, block and just play some more blockers to keep it going. I've had, to, I've had games from uh, tonight where I would swing with this and I would have four black tamers on the field, search for, and I'd play at least two. And like sometimes it was two of these. One was a night chest and the other was a night chest because they have to equal up to 10 whenever you attack to play a Digimon. So uh, the effects of it is when Digivolving you reveal the top three cards in your deck, you can play a tamer card from among them without paying the cost. So another Mamemon effect which is great with Mamemon because as soon as you Digivolve with Mamemon, you look at the top five. If you hit more than one Tamer, you can only play one, but guess what? You can put those right back on top, Digivolve for three again. As long as you put the cards back in the order that you need to, just don't put it on first, Digivolve on top of GG, draw for Digivolve, search for the next three Tamers, and then play the one that you saw with Mamemon. This thing combos so well with Mamemon 
I, I didn't expect it. And even if you don't go into GG on top of Gamma, or on, or on top of, GG on top of Mame, if you put Jumbo on top of Mame, play Mame, get the effect, and then just Digivolve on the next turn on top of him. Just make sure to set the cards back on top of the deck in the correct order so you get your Tamers. And then, yeah, when attacking, once per turn, for each green or black Tamer you have in play, reveal one card from the top of your deck. You may play any number of green or black Digimon cards whose total play costs add up to 10 or less among them without paying the cost. Place the rest at the bottom. So as soon as you get what you need with your Tamers, with Mamemon and Gigi, swing and just start playing. I had a board of nine Digimon at one point when I was going against Jessmon. It was ridiculous. So that's the reason why I say he is the second star. First star, second star, third star, because these three are what make the deck really good. As long as it as well as Tamers. Now I do run a one of uh, Digimon in here. I, I, I added this in because there are many times where I need the level seven, I need something to beat over the bigger guys, I need something to de-digivolve, I need to do something. A lot of people can play Quartzmon if you want. It is, it's fine because you can digivolve on top of the greens or the blacks, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but the reason why I run Death Dex is because I, you do run Izzy in this deck, so, and uh, Gatsumon and Pogumon. So if you hit a Death Dexmon and you need it badly, you can search for it, you can grab it, and you can, uh, with Izzy, you can gain the memory even if you hit it because it is a purple and black. So that's the reason why I run, run one of. Very powerful card. It, I feel it is better in the deck than um, Quartz. Now on to option cards. We run the four of Laplace's Demon. Very simple effect. You just play it for one, and one of the Digimon on the other side on your opponent's field has to attack at the start of their turn. Which is great for Jumbo Game, because you want them to attack so you can play out your Digimon for free, or you can potentially halt their Digivolution progress. Say they got a level five, ready to go into six, but they need one more turn. Play this for one, make them attack, play out something, block it, and make them have to start all over. That's pretty much the basis of it. It also can make your Tamers potentially skip turn. The original, the original focus of this deck was to make your opponents end their turn and skip it. But at this point, it's also turned into a massive board, a spawning board. You can just get as many Digimon in as you can if you have Gigimon and stuff like that. With also the potential to skip turns, because that has happened before and that did happen tonight. Um, yeah, I'll explain that later. Uh, but anyway, so now I do run a one of option card. This has come in handy because it is quite lucky to run and it's a very odd option card, but if you have it in your hand, and I only run one of this because if you have more than one, it really bricks your hand because then you are really relying on luck. But if you have one in your hand and or if it's in security, it can help you out depending on the situation. And it's a one of blue card. Uh, the reason why I run this is because, for one, it is a search and it is a free Digivolve. So, there have been times, so, so what it is is uh, main reveal the top five cards of your deck and you can Digivolve one of your Digimon into a non-white Digimon card among them without paying its memory cost. And if you don't, you can add a Digimon to your hand. Doesn't matter what color it is. And then you place the rest at the bottom. This is really good for the deck because in the security, if it's get hit in security, you can play a Tamer from your hand for free. Which, I mean, you want more Tamers on board, so gladly take more board control for the Tamers. But Jumbo Game is a huge cost to play, or to Digivolve. So what you could do is Digivolve for three on top of one of your level fours into Mamemon. You seed the Jumbo or the GG in your, in your stack. So what you can do is put them in the order that you need, and then play the blue card, and it's only for a cost of three. As long as you have a Tamer in play, it'll be, you can play this card. You can't play it unless you have a Tamer, but that's what you mainly have in the deck is Tamers. And so instead of Digivolving for five on top of Jumbo Gami, you can Digivolve for three. Or you can go into a Gigimon and start getting your Tamers going and just start, you know, all that good stuff. So it's a good way to cheat out one of the level sixes. I have used it once before. There was a time where I didn't have the six and I didn't know what was there, so I just played the blue card as a risky play and got a level six, and it, it helps. It helps more than you think. 
So now on to the Tamers. We run two of Izzy's. Very, uh, it's a staple for black decks, honestly. Just on play, reveal top three cards of your deck, and if all of them are black, you gain a memory. Um, I only run two of because you don't want to see too many of these on the board. Mainly, you, I mean, it's a memory setter. You don't want to see that that often, but it can help out whenever the turn is passed to you and you just go to three. Uh, next is one of my favorites. <laughs> it is so it's four Keenan Criers. Uh, yeah, it is a bl uh, it is a purple tamer, but you should <laughs> if you've seen how the deck works. It doesn't matter what color tamer it is. You can still turn and a lot of memory just from using these cards. Um, Keenan Cryer is a perfect example. On play, your opponent might trash one tamer or option card in your hand. And if they don't, you gain a memory and draw one. So it's a lose-lose situation for them. They can either get rid of an option or a tamer that they're holding on to. Or they just let you get a memory and draw one. So... But the main effect is opponent's turn. When an effect plays the Digimon by suspending this tamer, you gain a memory. Doesn't matter who plays the Digimon. Doesn't matter where it comes from. As long as an effect plays one, you get to uh, gain a memory. I've had times where all four of these or three of these are out and Jumbo Gami plays Mamimon or something. Just suspend them all and gain a ton of memory. And then the last, the last, the last cards are for Miki and Megumi. Well, let me uh, move this over. I'll put the blue card right here. And set these right here. So yeah, run four Miki and Megumi. You cannot run this deck without four of these because if you do, uh, then you're not getting the most value out of your deck or out of Jumbo Chess because this is another way to skip turn. Also on play, you can play your Pawn Chess Monster free from your hand. So all turns when you play a two color black and yellow Digimon, you can suspend the tamer to draw one and gain a memory. Pretty much use Jumbo Game, play a Rook Chest, play a Knight Chest, play a Pawn Chest from the source, gain a whole bunch of memory. And I will say with this updated deck list, I am loving this one particularly. I will say a huge shout out to, um, I, I don't know who or what the channel was, but this list that I have here is pretty much similar to that one. I've been taking all kinds of requests and suggestions to figure out how to adjust the deck. I know a lot of people are saying to add in the, um, the Agumons or the Ties from the structure decks that just came out. And those are great. But if you start taking away from the formula, I've noticed um, the original formula of this deck, it, 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 it doesn't work so well. I've replaced a lot of stuff and it just started falling down and, and it, it just couldn't recover. It just couldn't do anything else. So I went back to the drawing board and just did some minor changes and I am loving it. This is my perfect setup of what I believe is a really, really decent and good Jumbo Gami chess deck. But yeah, I thank you again for all of the support. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you still have any suggestions, I know in BT14 there's going to be a lot of cards that can definitely help out, especially like the uh, the um, the in will definitely help. Uh, I can probably find a spot in here for some of those. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you again. I'm glad to have updated this list and get you my most recent updated version and a a a local winning one. Surprisingly enough. Um, but I will upload the videos because I actually recorded all of them so you can see exactly all the matches that happened. So keep an eye out for that. But I wanted to give you guys an updated video on this because I know you've been asking for it for a while. But anyway, thank you again, and I'll catch you later. Baby!